Okay, so Hunter, today we just we went through our task. I gave you a task today was to hit three chip shots to three different targets. And what we did in order to have uh, the task complete is we put a six foot circle around each target and we were to hit five balls and see how many of the three we could get within that six foot target. So we had sort of a short shot, an intermediate shot, and a longer shot. Um, one out of you kind of uh, collar, about uh, one pace, two paces off the green, one first first uh, cut of rough, and then one first cut of rough to a farther target. So, you know, we went through the tasks the first time. Um, what, how what did you feel? What went well, and, and what could you have done better, do you think? Well, um, I felt my chipping wasn't the strongest, but um, the distance was right. I just didn't catch it clean off the grass. I thought my backswing and through swing was pretty even. I thought it could have been pretty close, but I chunked it a bit and hit it a bit, um, what's it called? A little bit not clean, so I hit it a bit, a little bit too much spin, and it spinned it not very close to the hole. Okay, so if we if we did this task again, which we will, how might you change uh, what you're going to do next time around to try to get more balls? For, first of all, when we looked at what we tried to do with the objective, did we get some balls in the, into the six foot circles? Yes. Okay. Did um, we got three. Three in. Yeah. Okay. On the on the on the first one, what about the other two? That was the short target. Uh, the next one that was a bit longer. Um, I got two out of five, and the last one I got one. Almost got two, but almost got two. Okay. So, um, you know, you talked about what you thought you didn't really do well the first time. Now, what might you do differently the next time to try to get maybe more balls into those circles? Well, um, I'll put a bit more um, angle, like less loft on my um, chipper, and hit a bit with um, more into the green and let it roll up instead of putting it a bit more high. Okay. Now, as you went around that, I noticed that, you know, we've got kind of three different shots here. What factors do you think might be in play for you when you're playing this on the golf course to hit shots that, that actually do finish within that six-foot range? So when you're looking at this shot, what do, you, what do you have to consider? Well, green can be anything at any time, really. It could be either wet, hard, and that's something I really check at the beginning. Um, but also my um, back and through swing, how hard I'm hitting the ball, um, and also the wind. The wind can be a factor too. Okay, so there's a little bit of breeze today, so you're looking at so kind of the three factors you're considering. So if we, this is on the golf course and you come up to this shot, what are, you, what are those, those factors you're going to consider before maybe you choose a club? Well, I'm going to see how long the um, hole is first, see how, um, see how the green is, and then based on that, and see how the wind is, and then based on that, get my through swing in back swing and through swing and then um, how hard I'm hitting it. Okay. Really, that's just practice. All right. So why don't we try it again and see if we can maybe improve on the first uh, the first result. So we had, what, three okay. balls? Three, two balls and two, one ball? and yeah, one. Okay. So let's give it a try again and see if maybe we can, uh, you know, get some better results and get more balls in a circle. Sounds good.